There are reports of a bacterial infection at the neonatal unit of the San Fernando General Hospital. This was confirmed by medical director Dr. Praveen Ramutar. According to Dr. Ramutar, five premature infants have been infected and because of their weak immune systems, they are prone to infection. He said the outbreak took place around late October and measures are being put in place to ensure the safety of the babies. All of them are being managed by appropriate antibiotics. Uh, we do have an infection control policy and an emergency response um, that has been um, implemented. Um, this happened since the 22nd of October, so no new infection has occurred since the 1st of November. He said at this time all high-risk babies have been transferred to other units to be delivered. Presence of infection pregnant mamas, moms who have what we consider to be high-risk babies, like pre who are likely to have a premature delivery or, um, you know, a, a baby with problems, we transfer them to other units where possible so that they could be, babies can be delivered there for a stay in a Mount Hope. And so we won't risk in, uh, admitting any of these uh, premature babies to our unit. In response to two neonatal deaths at the San Fernando General Hospital recently, Dr. Ramata said those deaths can't be directly attributed to the outbreak at the hospital. Was the one who actually got the infection and, and um, was the first case. Um, the, other, the other babies would have been infected due to cross-infection arising out of this uh, first case, which was a very premature case. And the other baby had uh, a number of other congenital congenital abnormalities um, in, including um, suspected leukemia. He said at this time the hospital is not turning away expectant mothers.